The next question is explain the master slave JK flip flop which is from the January February 2021 question okay so what is meant by master J uh, master slave JK flip flop it is nothing but the combination of two SR latches okay combination of two SR latches where one will act one SR will act as a master and the other will act as other SR will act as a slave okay so here your first SR is going to be your master M and the second is going to be your slave okay so this is going to be your slave at any one time only one will be working so it is controlled by a clock signal so here the clock will be triggered only it is during the positive edge and here it is your second one that is your slave will operate only your uh, during your negative trigger why there is a not key here okay so if clock is equal to 1 your master will be operating if clock is equal to so that 1 here you will be inverter you will be using you will get a 0 so only when the clock is 0 your slave will be operating so before going on to the topic you should know why what is the reason why you are going for your master slave jk flip flop so you know that in the case of truth table of your jk uh, flip flop you know that 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, right in 0, 0 you have no change when j is equal to 0 it is q is equal to 0 when j is equal to 1 q is equal to 1 and the last condition you know that it is a toggle condition so this is one of the disadvantage of your jk flip flop for your uh, time period t or a pulse duration t your output will be toggling between your 0 and 1 so this is 0 1 so this is called as your race around condition so uh, in order to avoid this you are going for your master slave arrangement okay so this is uh, that is a reason why you go for your master slave flip flop so you are concentrating only on the condition where j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 okay so this is your uh, diagram of your master slave jk flip flop so as I have mentioned before the clock your master will be operating only for your positive edge and your and your slave will be operating for your negative trigger of your clock pulse. Okay. So these are some of the introduction. Now you know that S is equal to S1. What will be your value for S? S will be equal to or S1 will be equal to J1. Then you have from here you have Q bar. Right. J1 Q bar. And what is the next one? Clock. Similarly, what will be your R1? R1 will be equal to K, J1, it's not J1, J, okay, K, then you have Q and clock bar, okay. So, you know that this is your condition for your S1 and your R1. So, at any one time, since you have Q dash and Q here, okay, at any one time, only one will be operating. So, for example, if J is equal to the condition is J is equal to 1, K is equal to 1, right? If J is equal to 1, what will happen? Your, uh, to the J, what is Q bar is being attached? If Q bar is equal to 1, Q will be obviously equal to 0. So, your, this will be in the on conditions. So, the condition here is, only one of the SR inputs to first latch can be one at any given time. Okay. So that is one of the important condition. Now if Q is equal to. So first case if Q is equal to 0. What will be the condition J is equal to 1. If Q is equal to 0 and J is equal to 1. Then S will be equal to 1 and R will be equal to 0. Okay. Regardless of the value of the K. So, for example, if Q is equal to 0, what will happen? Q bar is equal to 1. You know that Q bar is connected to your J. Now, if Q bar is equal to 1, right? Since Q is equal to 1 and J is also equal to 1. Then what will happen to your S1? S1 will be equal to 1 because the clock is also 1. So, all uh, 1 into 1 into 1, your output of the AND gate will be equal to 1. At the same time, your R will be equal to 0. Why? What is the condition? Because Q is equal to 0 is going to your K second uh, AND gate right so output will be equal to 0 similarly if uh, Q is equal to 1 what will happen K is equal to 1 and if K is equal to 1 then S will be equal to 0 and 
r will be equal to 1 right if q is equal to 1 now q bar will be equal to 0 this q bar will go here so this will become 0 q is equal to 1 means this will be equal to this and gate here you will be getting 1 1 1 so you will be getting the r to be equal to 1 this will be equal to 0 so at any one the working principle is first initially when clock is equal to 1 slave will not work it will be isolated the master will work okay it will hold the signal and during the next clock your slave will be operated so what will be your uh, uh, your timing diagram if this is your clock signal okay so if this is your output of your master and if this is your output of your slave what will be your output of your master so uh, Master will be operating only during your rising edge, right? During your rising edge and your slave will be operating during your falling edge. Okay? So, what will happen? So, during the rising edge, what will happen? Your output of your master will go high. It will hold the signal till the next rising edge. It will go back. Okay? Again, during the next rising edge, it will be high. So, this will be your output of your master. Whereas, in the case of your slave, slave will operate only during the falling edge, right? So, during the falling edge, your output will go high. It holds the value till the next falling edge. So, this is, so this is your timing diagram of your master slave JK flip-flops.